what is going on my Evermore brothers this is art and i'm coming at you with another video and this video is probably gonna hurt some feelings but as i've always said truth is like castor oil it's tough to go down you don't like the taste it makes you scrunch up your face but it's good for you and today we're going to talk about if you're over 40, bring beer. Now this is for obviously the women, because a lot of times women have overvalued themselves later in life, and they have always used their sexuality to capture a man. But as Father Time has stated, everybody hits the wall. It's just a matter of when. And if you're over 40, you have definitely hit the wall with 80% of the men in this world. And so you want to come with something other than just your sexuality, your youthless, your youthlessness, your beauty. You want to come with some beer. And I'm not talking about no cheap dollar fifty steel reserve. Nah, you need to get like some craft beer, you know, some IPAs up in here. You know, maybe a little scotch, you know, a little $60 bottle. You know, bring something like that to entice somebody because you can't entice somebody off your looks anymore. You're, you're over the hill. The black balloons have came and sailed away. You're as not as youthful as you used to be. And if you're sitting here thinking that you can get a high tier black man after the age of 40, <sighs> I have to tell you, sis, there's new models coming off the lot every single day. Little tight, little old 22 year old versus a 44 year old woman with three kids to raise versus a 22 year old. It's not looking good for you, sis. You better come with something else besides, you know, just this key he and a ha ha and, and I got worn out walls compared to some tight little 25 year old that's always smelling good. They ain't got to have back problems. I'm sorry. It is what it is. You got to do something else. Your strategy has got to change. And what I'm finding out of here is that they do not want to change. They don't want to change strategies. They want to still think that they're still 22 years old and compete with other 22 years old. But they get mad at the guys for picking a 22 year old. I mean, why wouldn't you pick one? <laughs> and she's young. She's vibrant. Uh, she has time. She's conducive to what you're doing versus someone that's stuck in their ways and doesn't want to change. If you want to change, it's, now's the time to change. You better bring something to the table other than what that 22 year old. Maybe you have a more refined taste, but you bring some high quality beer. Get you that $200 Jack Daniels Sinatra Select with you or something. <laughs> you know, and you got to do something but maybe you can't and that's the problem maybe you can't do nothing to get that guy because that guy's looking at the 22 year old hell maybe even a 30 year old you over the hill sis and as much as you hate hearing it it's the truth you can't demand the same stuff that you used to do in your 20s hell you couldn't do that in your 30s and now that you're 40, you're really over the hill. You got to go start going to the doctor for breast examinations because you, cause you're worried about breast cancer and all this other stuff. And you got to go get all kinds of doctor's help. You know, someone's got to help you cr get you out of bed and probably help you rub your back out because your back is all swollen because you've been at your job all day, feet swelling. gotta get it together sis you gotta get it together because 
Father Time does not stop for nobody. It doesn't. And that's why I'm trying to tell these guys, man. You know, when you get you a 40 year old chick, you better make sure she is on point. I'm talking about every time she comes over, she's got a bottle. She better make sure you're having a good time because she can't demand that stuff. And don't give your free time away to some of these older chicks that can't demand anything from you. Don't do it. She got three kids, you know, and she's in there telling you what you need to do. And you're a single guy with no kids? You look her up and down and walk away. There's no reason why a woman of that caliber, of that situation, she had to tell a single man with no kids what to do. You're deprived. You're definitely deprived in that situation, whether you want to believe it or not. You are definitely deprived. And you are in full control in that situation. She can't tell you to do anything. What's she going to tell you to do? You're free. You have no responsibilities whatsoever. But yet, she's the one with the baggage. So she needs to entice you because you are what she wants. Think about it. She got kids wearing her down. She's got mortgage and all sort of stuff. You're free. You don't have no kids. You can spend your money any way how you want to. All your resources are yours. You have no child support. You're not beholden to anybody other than yourself. That's what's enticing her to you. So you have the power. Use it. Use it for your own good. Or get you a little 22 year old, 25 year old, whatever, whatever you're. As long as she's legal. As long as she's legal. You gotta put that out there. As long as she's legal. Because I'm telling you. Now, let's say if you are old, you like older women, she still needs to be able to entice you. Don't let them mom you. She's not your mother. She will never will be your mother. Don't let her tell you what to do, when to come home, what you need to do, whatever. When she starts telling you all that stuff, leave. Leave. She should be mature enough and old enough to know that you are a grown-ass man. If she starts treating you like her child at 40-something years old, just leave. Look, Just look her up and down and then walk away and never return. Because she has nothing to hold you there. Nothing. And that's the way it should be. Because you're the boss not her because she's seeking out validation from you this is art i'm out